Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to day one of Halloween week 2020, all about fear. Super scary stuff. So because it's so scary, our first lesson is actually going to be sciency. We're going to talk about the science of fear. All right. So this is what I'm going to be talking about through this presentation today. What fear is, what causes fear, and how fear is processed. So let's start with the definition of fear. Fear is defined as a distressing emotion aroused by impending danger, evil, pain, etc., whether the threat is real or imaginary. Now that last part is super, super important. Whether the threat is real or imaginary. What causes fear? So technically, it is a tiny piece of your brain called the amygdala. And as I was doing my research for this, it was actually pretty cool because I discovered uh, that humans actually have two amygdalae um, inside their brain. But they're tiny almond-sized gray matter in the back of your head that regulate emotion. And they're specifically known for uh, the responses for fight, flight, or freeze. So the funny part about our amygdala is it hasn't really evolved since caveman days. It can't differentiate the possibility of being eaten by a tiger versus a friend or spouse sneaking up to scare you. Your amygdala process processes the, the exact same, although they're very, very different levels of danger or fear, right? So our brains are wired to protect us. This is one of their biggest jobs, right? Protect us, keep us alive, survival, hence caveman brain, primal brain, right? So this is the way that it is trying to help us survive. But again, it hasn't evolved. So it can't tell the difference between a real danger versus an imaginary danger. You guys sensing a theme here? Real versus imaginary? Let's keep going. How is fear processed in the brain? The electrical current or thought that is stimulated by sensory input, vision, auditory, taste, smell, any of those, your sent that any information to your senses is considered sensory input, right? So it first hits your amygdala in the back of your brain and then travels to the front of your brain, to the prefrontal cortex. This is the part of the brain that houses the ability of conscious thought and choice. So at this point, when the circumstance registers in our conscious mind, we can then determine whether the threat is real or imaginary. All right, guys, thank you so much. Uh, this was so much fun and I'm so excited that there's more. So check back tomorrow to learn about fear of judgment, AKA social anxiety. Um, and in case this presentation wasn't clue enough, I'm an absolute neuroscience nerd. So. Uh, leave your questions below and let's have a conversation. So tune in tomorrow and let's keep learning.